Welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our weekly uh, MLB betting update show that we do with Dog Up Zone every week. Today is Thursday, June 26th, and this week we're going to take a look at the divisions in the National League. We're going to start with the NL East. Dog Up Zone, thanks for being back with us. Peter, I'm glad to be back once again here. And uh, yeah, the National League, National League East, there's been a few different things that have been occurring with uh, some of the different teams. And uh, hey, let's dig into it and make it happen. All right, let's dig into it. First, let's start with a forecast from our last video. And overall, they were uh, mildly uh, accurate forecasts. The first one was, you said, continue to bet Atlanta unders. And they did go 10 and 14 over under since the last video. And that puts them at 29 and 44 over under on the year. So that was an accurate call. And Atlanta continues to be a strong under trender you said continue to bet Miami as an over though they went 12 and 12 over under since last video then you said a bet on the Mets on the road and right after the last video they did they were winning on the road but they've since kind of tanked and they're actually 8 and 10 on the road since our last video for a negative return of 6.6 percent so that was a little off then you also said bet against Philly at home and they did go six and eight since that last video but they were so overvalued that that returned a negative 17.6% ROI. So betting against Philly at home since last video was an accurate call. Would have been very profitable. Doug Upstone, uh, congratulations on your uh, nice calls from our last video. Well, th thank you. I know last week I, I, I disappointed. Uh, you came at me with, 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 the, with the high heat. I deserved <laughs> it. But this week, you know, hey, a little bit better uh, all the way around. For sure. All right. And the story in the NL East, though, since our last video has been Washington. You know, their offense has gotten um, a lot healthier. And uh, since that's happened, they've started to win. I was a little bit on that myself. And since our last video, plus 18%. ROI overall. They're still slightly down overall on the year because of, uh, you know, when they had their injuries earlier in the year, they were losing and uh, and they were a good bet against. Now they're a good bet on. Again, plus 18% since our last video. Do you think that continues? I definitely do, Peter. Okay. Uh, it, this, this team is in the top three in almost every important pitching category. And as you mentioned, the offense has picked up. You know, it was down around, I think, 3.75 runs per game, and now it's just a hair over four. So that's that's been a big increase. And as I say on these videos often, you know, one of the things I look for is how teams, quality teams, go out and mash opponents. Mm -hmm. And Washington is 19 and 11 in games decided by four or more runs. Now, over the next 10 days, they're going to be face the Cubs home and away, and they got Colorado also. I smell some victories ahead. Okay, and then the only other two notable trends that I'm seeing are from the end at least are, again, the Atlanta unders and Miami overs. And again, Atlanta, you called that last time. They did continue to go under. And uh, Miami is just 50-50 since our last video, but they're 43-29 and 29 over under on the year. And uh, I definitely admit, any game where I sit down to handicap a game involving Miami, my first thought is to the over. I look at the total. Is the total relatively low? Who are the pitchers in the other team? And my first thought is to bet on the over. So uh, do you think that both those trends continue or neither of them or just one of them? I, I, I would more lean towards, and this is not a strong feeling, mm -hmm. but I would, I would more lean towards Atlanta because mm -hmm. their batting, uh, the batting order continues to be a problem and not produce, and then their pitching continues to be strong. So, I mean, so that, that's, a, that's a good way in a, to look at them. Miami, you know, I, I'm changing up a little bit on them. I, their road record, even though it's gotten better, I'm not really sure that they're really going to be in a good position to in advance. Mm -hmm. And you know, their, their schedule doesn't set up well for them. You know, they, they're coming back home now to play Oakland, which is certainly will not be simple. I'm going to just say as, as a general idea here, I would look to play against Miami because they're 14 and 21 on the road. Pick up those spots. Well, Miami, though, is uh, the only profitable team on the year overall in the NL East. They are at plus 3%. ROI, which is ninth best in baseball, so uh, that could be a little treacherous. All right, so let's get to uh, official forecasts from the National League East. Uh, what's the first one you want to give to us, Doug Upstone? I uh, will go definitely, Peter, with Washington to continue to, to play on them. Mm -hmm. I look to play against Miami on the road, and I would consider play, continue to play the under with Atlanta. All right, so just three forecasts, bet on Washington, bet against Miami on the road, and continue to bet unders with Atlanta? Exactly. All right. Thanks so much, Doug. Now let's move on to the NL Central. 